In this session, let's talk about test projects, new AI-powered self-healing technology one more time. The last time, we talked about the self-healing technology for web testing. However, this time, we are going to talk about it for mobile testing using Appium. It has the same benefits. I'm going to show you how it supports iframes, dynamic elements, multiple locators, and multiple windows. Our applications will be Chase, Rediff, and Test Project. Chase has an iframe when entering the username and password. If I right click in the frame, inspect, then search by writing two forward slashes, iframe, we see the frame highlights with iframe in the DOM and iframe, hashtag log on box below the frame. Rediff has dynamic elements for lots of these fields. Let's inspect full name. The name attribute has a value that ends with B0F. Refresh, inspect again. Now the value dynamically ends with different numbers, 0, 2, 6. I wanted to show you test project because it has submenus within the menu. When I hover platform, we see more menu items. Okay, let's go to the platform. My agent is running and my cell phone well, mobile phone is connected to test projects platform. Let's click new test, mobile, and the next. The name is mobile AI self healing platform. Description is Appium AI powered framework for all. Click next. Select your device platform. My platform is Android. Select the application you will be testing. I'm going to click the drop down, then select Chrome. Then click next. Record and start recording. At this point, the mobile device is getting prepared. I click yes to reset the app. The second step is to accept and continue. Click no thanks. Enter the URL for Chase. HTTPS colon two forward slashes www.chase.com Then select the URL. Sign in. Then enter some invalid credentials like Joe Doe for username. Password will be Joe Doe 1234. Adaptive weight is also a feature for this smart recorder. It's dynamic to wait for the application before processing the next step. For example, if I click step eight, scroll down to adaptive wait, and the default is 15 seconds. Change 15 seconds to 60 seconds, and click the check mark, then save. The next step will not wait the complete 60 seconds. The next application will be Rediff. Click the ellipsis, then select new tab. Type the address, and that will be https colon two forward slashes register.rediff.com forward slash register forward slash register.php question mark form name equals user underscore details I hope that's the right URL 
Bingo. Select the URL. Full name, Joe Doe. ID is Joe Doe at gmail.com. If we wanted to, we could add a locator to override the provided locators. Let's go to Android widget dot edit text. Click the pencil icon and we see how this AI feature supports multiple locators. There are two locators, but let's add one more locator with the value of two forward slashes invalid locator. And I'm going to move it as the primary locator. And it's going to skip the invalid locator and select a backup locator. So now I'm going to close this and go to the next application, which is test project. But let's go under new incognito tab this time. The address is HTTPS, too many T's, colon, two forward slashes, www dot test project dot io select the url hamburger icon platform easy test automation mobile test recorder Bingo. Let's play these steps. And I'll show you on the phone too. Hopefully it goes pretty good. But you can see it good. You see the message? The expected element in step seven missing? Don't worry. Test Projects AI is looking for another path forward. Hold tight. Don't sweat. Step 17 was missing. Now it's self healed by test projects AI. The test passed, but we must confirm. Test project AI found a better way to locate the elements during recording. The red X shows our overridden locator was not valid. Confirm, then go to the step that was self-healed, bingo. Step 17 and 18 was self-healed. This step was self-healed by Test Projects AI is a message. Go to details. And we see that a note says, don't sweat. This step was self-healed by Test Projects AI. That's it for Appian AI self-healing. If you're interested in more videos, feel free to subscribe to my YouTube channel and click the bell icon. You can also follow me on Twitter, connect with me on LinkedIn and Facebook, and I will place the transcript on GitHub. And I'll see you in the next session. All Part 1 ebooks and PDF documents are free. Programming books for UFT. Programming books for Java. Here's the Selenium Automation Book. And TestMG. Subscribe to get notification of future videos. Don't forget to like, comment, and share.